everybody, Amanda Saladin here coming to you from my craft room in progress. We're working on building me a studio so that I can do more professional videos. And today I'm here to show you how to crochet the simple textured washcloth. So I did another version of it here in this nice golden mustard color in Barocco Modern Cotton. And so I'm working on getting video tutorials of all the patterns that I have in my blog. So it's a slow process because I'm constantly making new patterns, trying to release one a week, and then go back and hit the more than 100 patterns I already have in my blog. So lots of videos coming up, and I'm so thankful for you guys subscribing to my channel. I've over 5,000 subscribers now, and that is just amazing. So thank you guys so much. I hope you're enjoying all these tutorials, and can't wait to bring you some more. Materials you will need for this pattern include cotton yarn. Um, I'm using Broco Modern Cotton for this example and a size H 5 millimeter hook. The original washcloth was done in the Lion Brand 24-7 cotton, so lots of options of cotton yarns out there. And let's get started. Alright, we're going to start of course with our slip knot. And this stitch can be worked over any multiple of an odd number. So for this particular pattern, we're going to chain 37. So you can make it bigger or larger depending upon your needs and just make sure you're chaining an odd number. Okay, we're going to work into the third stitch from the hook. I like to work in these back loops. To work a modified bean stitch, pull up a loop and, and yarn over. Insert in the same stitch, pull up another loop. You should have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through all four. Then chain one. I'm going to skip the next chain and then work another modified bean stitch. And then pull through, chain one, let's work another one together, skip, insert in a stitch, pull a loop, yarn over, pull a loop in the same stitch, and then draw through. Then chain one. So repeat this all the way across till you get to the last chain. Okay, and here we are, two chains left and you're just going to work a modified bean stitch in this last chain. And then we've completed our first row. Now we're going to turn our work for row two. Now we're going to chain two and right here in this very first modified bean stitch we're going to work into the modified bean stitch. So you can see here's the opening we're going to work into. This is next to it is the chain one space. So, so make sure you're working into the stitch and work a modified bean stitch just like before. So bring up a loop, yarn over, bring up a loop in the same stitch, yarn over and draw through all four loops. Chain one, look for the next okay, modified bean stitch right here. And really you're just going to keep working this all the way across, working a modified bean stitch into each modified bean stitch with the chain one in between. And this is the row that you're going to just repeat. It's a super simple and easy stitch pattern because you're working this same row just back and forth and it slants the bean stitches in opposite directions so that way when you look at it you've got you know one row facing kind of slanting to the left 
in the next row slanting to the right and they just build on each other for a really great texture. So just keep on working all the way across. You just work a modified bean stitch in the last modified bean stitch in turn. Always chaining two at the beginning of a row. And then at the end we're going to work the border. Okay, and here I am down to my last modified bean stitch. I wanted to show you how this looks. I'm going to work right here into the end. You can see. Just work your modified bean stitch. And here is our first couple of rows. So you can see the texture building there. So just work back and forth in the same pattern repeating row two. Okay, now I have my square completed. I worked until it was a square and I have a turned right here at the end of this last row. And now I'm just going to work a row of single crochet evenly around. So you're just going to chain one and single crochet into that last modified bean stitch and then into the chain space. Okay, so in each one, every modified bean stitch and every chain space. And just work across till you get to the corner. Okay, now here we are, almost to the corner. And here's how you're going to work the corners. You're just going to work three single crochet in the same corner space. So here's two and three and then kind of turn your work so that we can work around on the next side. You see how it kind of turns the corner there. Now turn your work and work into the side of each row with single crochet. So when you get to each corner just repeat working three single crochet in the corner and just work around until you get to the beginning where we'll join with a slip stitch. So you can see how this corner looks Nice and even. Just want to keep your single crochets evenly across. Okay, now I worked my way all the way around and I'm going to do the last few single crochets and then join with a slip stitch. Now this corner here, we started out, we did not work three stitches into this corner. We just did one. So go ahead and make sure to turn the corner properly that you work two more in there and then you're going to join with a slip stitch to this first one. Okay, then you'll fasten off. If you want to work more of a border, more single crochet around, it's really easy to do. You would just chain one right here and just work single crochet into each single crochet. And again, working three single crochets into each corner. I just really liked the one round of single crochet. You can see here it's a nice size for a washcloth and the texture is good. Really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.